Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. Today we're going to take a look at the Age of Sigmar Grand Alliance Chaos book. This is one of the four Grand Alliance books. Um, the largest of two uh, are which are Order and Chaos. Now, basically, all the old figures from a lot of different ranges were uh, put into this one book. So this has uh, what used to be Skaven, and then um, basically Demons and uh, Warriors of Chaos. And so the only new faction in here is the Corn Bloodbound. Yeah, I actually said it right that time. So anyway, now in the future, like in my last video, um, I mentioned this, I don't think you're gonna see books like this, obviously. These are relatively inexpensive. These large books are 35 currently. And this one weighs in at uh, okay, is there a page number here? Yeah, just over 300 pages. All the books have the rules, which is only four pages long, which are only four pages long. And uh, basically, there's a ton of very lavish art, so let's, let's dive right in. Let me make sure I've got my thing centered here. In fact, I am going to just zoom in here a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to give my comments. I have an artist coming in to interview in about 10 minutes. By the way, BTP is very much in business, very much alive. Uh, I'm actually very close to catching up on the project load. So uh, that's really good news. We have 80 projects uh, act uh, excuse me. Yeah, 80 projects in queue right now. And about 40 of them are being worked on. Uh, historically, we have done uh, between 500 and 700 projects every year. So, uh, basically, every section in here has a like what uh, a formation. Well, what you know in 40k is a formation. It's called a battalion. And so, here's some new guys. The Varn Guard are like these uber. Um, Chaos Knights, and they're actually, they're, these guys are actually the foil at five wounds each. These guys are the foil to the uh, Dracoth Riders, which you find in the order book. Let's see if I can find it. Here you go. Uh, which is from um, the Extremis Chamber book. So, okay, let's continue. So there's those guys. Now, Warriors of Chaos is now referred to as Slaves to Darkness. Ooh, in fact, I do need to let go back just a tad here. There we go. And so here you go. So you've got Chaos Lord on Manticore. That sort of stuff. You have two formations here. Three formations. Uh, so let's just rip through there. Chaos Warriors, even though this kit is like really, really old, they're still rocking. And I think... Personally, I love the no points thing. The General's Handbook is out now, which gives points for everything. I've heard it's pretty balanced, but I, I'm glad they got rid of points. But of course, the point system is going to seat back in, and that's really what you're going to see. So Chaos Marauders, incredibly old sculpt, and you're still going to see those guys. Uh, the Chaos Chariots have a great plastic kit that's been out for a while. For those guys, the Gorby's Chariot's really cool. Okay, then you have Bloodbound, which, and they actually have their own book, but you've got the basics in here. And as I mentioned before, you can go to the Games Workshop site and actually download the PDFs for each and every thing that you can buy from them. So, and you have some old uh, names in here like Valkia the Bloody. Um, okay, Skull Hunger Host. Now, here's, here's just a bunch of pictures, basically. Oh no, that's not true. So you've got Demons of Cahorn which I haven't really looked at. And, uh, okay, so we're about to get somewhere interesting. Zinch Arcanites. So this is what you have instead of armies now. You have like these little factions which could fit in a book or just on a certain number of pages. In fact, Zinch Arcanites are really only two, three pages. Wow, it's not that much. And then you've got uh, Demons of Zinch. So what you gotta look at, and by, okay, so what you got to look out for is the synergy that every unit brings to the table. In fact, I'm going to get to that when I get to the Nurgle guys, because I actually know something about that. But I did want to point out for Demons of Zinch, a change host of Zinch uh, is, 
has really the most interesting power, which is units from the battalion, if they're within 27 inches of the Lord of Change that leads them, can switch places on the board. So like you can just take a guy from each unit, take off the entire unit, put the, switch the guy's places, and then put the units back around them. The amount of shenanigans and like tricksy sort of tactics that can go along with this is utterly amazing. I love it. I can't wait to try it. I'm actually going to be doing uh, Demons of Zinch. What am I getting a notice here? Oh no, that was my phone. Okay, so uh, I did want to point something out though, which is for the pink horrors, let's get to those guys. Where are you, Pink Horrors? Blue Scribes, Exalted Flamers. And you know, this faction has like 10 entries, which is great. So Pink Horrors, now if you get White Dwarf, I think it is 120 or 121, you can get Blue Horrors. Now, if you have any Blue Horrors on the field, the Pink Horrors get an ability, and that ability is to split. So whenever some of their guys die, you either set up a new unit or reinforce an existing nearby unit of Blue Horrors. And this is great. I love it. They brought back the splitting for Pink Horrors. And it's, it's Demons of Zinch are definitely going to have a lot of character. Um, let's keep going. Burn, oh, just so many kids. Okay, Nurgle Rotbringers. This is the army I'm doing. This is going to be a, my first Age of Sigmar army. I have about 12 of them on tap. But note that you can make an army from just like five boxes. So, um, yes, uh, Nurgling Rotbringers Blightguard is the formation you get for Nurgle Warriors of Chaos. The requirements is a Lord of Plagues, a Rotbringer Sorcerer, and four units of Putrid Blight Kings. So these Blight King models, which we're going to take a closer look at, those are basically the infantry of this formation. Now. Uh, as far as I know, you can take anything out of this book. Like, this is one giant army book. And so, I gotta tell you, I love that about Age of Sigmar, because you can just bring so many cool models from your collection. So, the, but the ability of the Blight Guard is Cloud of Buzzing Blight Flies. You subtract to one from the hit rolls for atta any attacks made against units from this battalion. That is an amazing defensive ability. Just, uh, oh man, what a great ability for a formation. And you also reroll wound rolls of one for the Blight Guard, which is kind of cool. So this particular sub list, if you wanted to do a themed army, and again, you could just put stuff in here. Like you, you just put things from whatever portion of this book. Oh, uh, I think the Beastmen are in this one. Or are they in Destruction? Hold on, let me just check here. Uh, Skaven, didn't catch that way. Yeah, the Beastmen are in Destruction. So Destruction is Orcs, now called Orux, for copyright purposes. Uh, ogres, or Ogors, and the Beastmen. Okay, so anyway, so when you're making your army, or when you're considering these guys, you have to look at uh, killing power. And it, that's very easily calculated. I'm actually going to do another video of this. But you've got, um, yeah, you're hearing that beeping noise from outside. No way around it. Just some uh, construction going on, I guess. So anyway, but look for uh, one, synergy. So like a unit that enhances some other type of unit. And also look for... Uh, like universal things where this model gives a benefit to the entire army or it may give that benefit only to like one nearby unit or even better it may give that ability to units with or models within a range so you got to watch out for that if it says any units within seven inches get this ability that's better than any models within seven inches get this ability okay so uh, this particular kit makes three guys, and what I'm going to do, because I'm going to do uh, the Rot Bringers, but I'm also going to do Demons of Nurgle as well, and those two will mesh really well together. But I'm going to take this model and turn it into my great unclean one. Now, I just want to point out a few things here, just for fun. Bloab Rot Spawned. 
He has a, a, and by the way, he doesn't have a command ability. In fact, do any of these guys have a command ability? They do not. These guys are not generals for your army. So anyway, uh, he has Miasma of Pestilence. So typically, wizards will, they can cast one spell and they can unbind one spell, which means attempt to dispel an enemy wizard. Uh, and they all have Arcane Bolt and Mystic Shield. Mystic Shield gets plus one to the save. Arcane Bolt does D3 mortal wounds to a unit within 18 inches. You don't roll the hit or anything. You just roll the D, you just say, you guys, you roll the D3, they take that many wounds. Uh, it's only the casting roll that creates some variability there. We're like, maybe it won't be successful. And the casting rolls are like really low. So it's not like you're, you're just like, oh, I didn't cast this turn, this turn. Oh, I didn't cast it this turn either. No, they actually usually have a five up on 2d6 or a six up on 2d6, which gives them a really good chance of being successful. So on this, he picks a unit within 14 inches and they get Miasma of Pestilence, which means at, at the end of any phase, you roll a dice and on a two up, that unit takes D3 mortal wounds if they've received wounds during that phase. That first I was like, that's dumb. Why not just arcane bolt them for D3 wounds? It's because it's at the end of every phase. So you got to figure out a way to make a unit take damage in the hero phase, the um, magic phase. Yes, magic phase. No, wait, magic happens in hero phase. Never mind. So hero phase, shooting phase, combat phase. So and that could really wipe out a whole unit. So again, look for the synergy because an army that has a lot of good synergy is not only good, quote unquote, but it's also fun to play. And that's why I like the no points thing because it made, uh, you know, when you sat down to a game, it makes you think, well, hey, is this fair? Is this nice? Should I bring this? Rather than just doing it. So um, yeah, these guys have great sort of um, abilities. Now, uh, so I'm going to give you, I'm just going to sort of walk you through this. So the Harbinger of Decay, which is a guy on a mount. By the way, tons of great conversion possibilities here. I am not buying this figure. I am going to definitely convert something for this, for this guy. Um, so his command ability is Morbid Vigor. So if there is each time, hold on, here it is. If a Harbinger of Decay uses this ability, then the, until your next hero phase, roll a dice each time a mortal Nurgle unit from your army suffers a wound or mortal wound within seven inches of this model. On a five up, the wound is ignored. He basically gives him feel no pain. And affecting a unit within seven inches of him, that's extremely powerful. That's gonna, like a lot of things could be just barely touching in that unit. Especially since you choose your own casually, so it'd be hard to break that. You'd, I mean, you'd effectively have to kill the whole unit to break the, um, the hold of that. Now, Gutrot Spume is an amazing model, but his command ability is not that great. So, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it now. Let me focus on, let me focus on his stat line here. Come on, here we go. Ah. Okay, there we go. Hopefully you can read that. Okay, good. All right, so what you do to determine killing power, this guy's only melee, so you take the attacks and you multiply it by the damage. Now, if there's a die roll, just multiply it by the average damage. A D3 has average damage of two. A D6 has an average damage of 3.5. So his damage potential is four times two is eight. That means if he hit with all four attacks and wounded, like you hit, wounded, and they failed their save, you would get two damage from that, or you would get eight for all four. And this is D3 attacks, we're gonna call that two attacks times one, so two. Oh, in fact, my thing has started. I will get back to you guys with a nice part two.